Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Now, you may be wondering why we're in this area, which is a completely different area from last time, but uh, you may also have noticed this blue plate over here, now on top of the save point. Well, I wanted to explain that real quick. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to go into the menu. Now, from here you have um, a few different options. Uh, you can use... Uh, one of your passports, uh, which we have the battle passport, the drill passport, and the card passport, uh, and these will allow you to play um, some mini games, which I may show at some point. But that's not the point of what we're going to do today. Today, you're going to go to the UMN section, and in in the UMN section, you can check your mail, or your database, and what plugins you have, and you can also use the EVS or the Environmental Simulator. What that means is we can go to these places that we've already been to, and we're going to go to the Cosmos Simulator. And there is a reason why we're doing that. If you remember, uh, we found a red door here a while back when we were first down here. And since that time, we found the key for the red door. Now, you may be wondering why I'm going in here if I'm only with Xi'an. Well, don't worry. Uh, she's more than capable of handling this trip now. Uh, now that she's grown in level and we've uh, uh, increased her uh, battle prowess, so to speak. You'll notice... Um, eventually when we get into a boss fight with more than, or not a boss fight but a regular battle with more than one enemy that they don't really do a whole lot at this point in fact they don't damage her at all so we're good to go okay so the quickest way move all the way to the right try and avoid fights if you can they're not really important I didn't I should have waited for that but it doesn't matter they're not going to give you a whole lot of experience at this point. They're not going to give you, see, no damage. So, it's not, there's no point. Oh, and we're getting a tutorial about airborne enemies. Oh, we needed that. We sure haven't fought any uh, airborne enemies ever. Right. As you can see, these guys get totally destroyed by Xion. They're getting destroyed by Sheehan. You gotta imagine what Cosmos and some of the other more uh, more powerful members of our group would do to him. Take him out. Take him out, Sheehan. You got this. And just like that, battle over. We win. Move on. We get an ether pack. That's awesome. All right. So quickest way to go head in here and go through here. The little shortcut. And we're gonna go right down here. And over to the right where the segment address was, open the door, and we get two booster packs, alright. We'll check those out later. And back out we go. The unfortunate thing is uh, with the EVS is that you can't just automatically leave an area. You have to find an exit point. Nah, it's not there anymore. So we basically got to go back outside the way we came. Let's wait for him to go down this time. Why are you? Why are you just waiting there? All right. So we walked right by him. 
walk right by this guy too. No problems. And we walked right by them. These guys are clueless. Look at this. Look at how easy this is just to avoid everybody. And just like that, we are out of there. Yes, let us leave. So those booster packs contain cards which can be used in the card game. Um, which you can access by the card passport from here. And also, while we were off screen, uh, I did a little bit of shopping. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. Just wanted to show you that and remind you guys to go back there. And next time we'll continue on with the story. See you then. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, and no, this is not the end of the episode. I decided to continue on because um, we're going to have a lot of long cutscenes after this. So um, basically what we're going to do is go back to that uh, large area we uh, went to the first time we uh, explored the bottom uh, the basement of the ship um, we had a lot of those big uh, crates that we blew up you'll remember it we come up here um, and basically all we need to do at this point um, aside from wait for the there we go wait for this uh, area to load. We're going to walk up here all the way up past all these crates and you'll see a terminal with a uh, with a blinking light at the end. We're going to go all the way up and we're going to explore here. We're going to press uh, the circle button to examine it. And Xion doesn't seem to see anything wrong. But we know that's not always the case. All right. If there's nothing there, I guess we're fine. Good work. Come on back. Oh. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. I sure hope that doesn't cause any problems later on. Yeesh. Xion. Xion, why don't you go back and look? Look, can't you see it? Can you see the la- Oh, man. Oh, well. I guess only we know what really happened. Well, Xion's gonna go back to, uh, to the bridge. Again, we're gonna go back and forth. Like we've been doing pretty much ever since we got control back on the Elsa whatever so we're gonna go back up here you all should know uh, how, where to go now uh, that's the one good thing about this is we're getting a real good feel about uh, how to navigate the ship and where everything is so at least we know where we're going Alright. So again, we're going to continue going back to the bridge. And um, if you saw my update video, um, you'll, you'll know that uh, I had a problem with the disc that I had for this game where the um, cutscenes weren't loading. Or they were loading, but they would freeze mid-cutscene. Um, well, I did end up getting a new disc, and I tested it out. It works great. So, we can continue on with Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Thank goodness. I was very happy when I found that out. Alright. So, we're going to head on up to the bridge. We're going to get a cutscene, and I will see you next time. Oh, before we go, uh, last time we were here, when you talked to... Matthews, go to the right and you'll get an email. Okay, see you next time.